Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm just going to show you a custom package to spice up your bottom navigation bar. So this kind of liquid curved effect is what we're going to build today. So I'll link this package below so you guys can take a closer look at it if you want. But I can show you real quick how to implement it because it's pretty easy. So this is the package name with the version number. And I've opened up a brand new Flutter project. And just so that we're on the same page, in my main function, I'm just running my app, which is a material app, which is looking at this home page, which is a stateful widget. And I'm just returning a blank scaffold. So this is where we'll begin. And so if you go to your popspec.yaml, let's go to the dependencies and add that package in. And so save it and make sure that that's run and then let's close this file and inside the scaffold so usually we would fill out this bottom navigation bar with another widget called a bottom navigation bar but since we've imported a custom version if you start typing curved navigation bar there we go there it is and let's fill out these items so in these items, let's just put some basic icons here so that we can see what this looks like. So I'm just going to use a home. Let's use a heart icon and let's use a settings icon. Cool. So it looks like there it is. Now, I think this is going to require us to change some things up so it looks more appropriate. So if you look under the curve navigation bar, you can see there's a couple of colors we can specify. So one tip I'll give you is the background color. Let's say I make it deep purple. Then that's the color there. So you want to make the background color the same as the background color in the scaffold. So that if I just show you here, so that this kind of matches up like this. Right, so you want the two background colors to match up and then if you want this white color to change you can specify the actual color to say maybe the same color but a lighter shade right so you guys can choose whatever color you want um, and also one thing I would recommend is the animation duration if you hover over this, you can see it's currently 600 milliseconds there. So if you want, you can change this. And so before I change that, you can see this is the speed right now. But if you want to change that up from 600 milliseconds, let's make it twice as fast. So, yep, that's one of the things that you might want to change. And of course, if you want to change the individual icons, you can do that, like change the colors to be white. And so depending on the kind of color scheme you have, you want to make sure these colors line up pretty well. But yeah, other than the aesthetics of it, the important thing that hopefully if you've used any bottom navigation bars before is this on tap. So if you look at this guy, you can see it gives you an integer there. So. If I just show you real quick, it's going to tell us about a particular index and that's just corresponding to the tab that we're um, corresponding to the tab that we're currently selecting, right? To display the different pages. So this index, if I just show you real quick, if I just print what the index is telling us. So you can see if I just go up, you can see like it tells you the index so that's zero one two so you can use that to navigate to the different pages cool i have a another bottom navigation bar package i want to show you guys after this video so look forward to that one and let me know what you think about this particular look is there something that you guys would want to use or nah but that's it for this one so let me know if you have any problems but other than that thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one Latest.